I was just going to give you another demo of the Segway. Um, as you see, it's it's going at the moment, very very stable, um, and it's not it's not got any connections. It's not connected to anything. No, no trickery here. But um, yeah, there's, there's the beam isn't even attached, so it's not this this bit will wobble slightly. I'm just going to show you what it what reacts how it reacts to disturbances. I mean. It's quite good actually. And it well, it compensates very well. And once it gets back to you know rough starting point, it'll carry on as it usually does. You can you really can just move it around. But yeah, and then you can just leave it. Um, yeah. I mean, you can you can do pretty much anything to it within reason, you know, not slamming your hand on it or anything, but within reason. I mean, you can even things like if you can get your hand in the way, it'll just sort of bounce off. But within reason, as long as it stays on the same surface and it, it's not like a, a massive drop or anything, I mean, you can you can do what you want, and it should stay balanced. This is helped by the gearing system here. I think, uh, yeah, I'm going to show you that um, leaning program I've got for it as well. Well, not program. Um, yeah, I'll just find that for you. Now it's getting in the way. <laughs> right, where is it? You see, even when it gets into one of these wobbles, it does sort itself off after a few minutes. Well, a few seconds, actually. Right. Here it is. Right, that's now going to stop. This desk is quite thin, I can move it across a bit. Right. Like I said, it, I have had this going for up to 20 minutes, and I imagine it will go for sort of at least an hour before it actually, you know, the batteries fail or something. It's it's not to do with the robot and the programming that, that makes it uh, eventually fall over. I have tested it on carpet, I might show you that in a minute, but it doesn't work as well because the wheels the wheels get depressed slightly more, the sensor's too close to the carpet, and you then find that it just hits the sensor and then falls over quite quickly. But I'll show you that in a minute. I'll show you the remote, NXT remote vehicle. Right. Connect up. And this is going, I've just started this program here, I don't know if you can see. Um, with this, it's definitely, so it, in the middle of a program, I can still connect to it. As long as it's all going, I need all the keyboard properly this time. You watch this uh, so-called person here. So I can lean him forward and back. I, I I chose the. It does it does get quite wobbly at times, but that's just the nature of it. Like I said, it does even itself out with it even at times. See, it's le leant too far forward there. Uh, adjust it back a bit. But you can get it to go quite far, to be honest. Look, I mean, if you have a long enough, uh, long enough area to do it on. Look, look how stable it is now. And lean it forward again. Once it, once it does get going properly, it will. I don't even have to correct it now. But yeah, that's that's basically it. Right, I'll now show you it on the floor. This is just my bedroom floor, it's nothing special. And the light is just above it, so if there are any problems, it's likely to be here. There we go. Oh. 
I have got a dodgy light sensor here. Sometimes the cables and well, I don't know exactly what it is. If anyone has any ideas why this occasionally won't work, I don't know. There we go. Come on. There we go. Yeah. It doesn't like the carpet very much. I'll try that again. It's it's slightly too much weight backwards. I can't. <laughs> I don't have uh, three hands, but yeah, it's, it's reasonable on carpet. Like I said, uniform surfaces are better. Carpet isn't good. I think any any heart any sort of I mean like bathroom tiles or anything. It does tend to work well there. Anyway, yeah. If you want to see um, see the robot, you can always look at the. Other versions of this on uh, the, on the was the video I replied this to um, on nxtprograms.com. There's a link there, and there's definitely links on YouTube. So yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, good luck with making your own.